Installing an open firmware like DDWRT is like giving wings to your home network. You could do some pretty fly stuff with it. Puns. Like monitoring your network in real time and making sure your neighbor doesn't nick your Wi-Fi. Well, what else? That's right, you can set up smart DNS proxy in your router and bypass geo restrictions on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, or even Amazon Prime Video. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm vamping your smart DNS proxy and in this video, we'll show you how to set up smart DNS proxy on DDWRT. Before we begin, make sure you're connected to your DDWRT router. To access your router admin panel, open up your web browser and in the URL box, type in the router's IP address. If you're not sure what that is, Open up your terminal and type in ipconfig slash all. And look for the next value to the default gateway. That's the router's IP address. By default, DDWRT uses 192.168.1.1 or even 0.1. But you may have to change that during the setup. Once done, it'll ask you for your username and password, which you had set up when you first set up the device. So just type that in. Once you log in, your DDWRT interface will look similar to mine. From here, look for a section where it says DNS settings. Select setup from the top tab and select basic setup below that. Smart DNS proxy have DNS servers all around the world that can improve DNS query speeds. In general, you need to choose a DNS server close to your physical location as possible. For this instance, say if I'm in Canada, then I'll choose two DNS servers from Canada. And once you're done, save the changes. DDWRT router supports up to three static DNS entries, but most DNS servers provide only two DNS servers, so it should be fine. Apply the settings and reboot your router. To do this, navigate to the administration tab and click on the reboot router button at the bottom of the page. Now, just as we did in all of our previous Smart DNS Proxy setup videos, you need to log into your Smart DNS Proxy My Account section and activate your IP address. If you haven't already created an account, you can do it now. Smart DNS Proxy offers a 14 day free trial with no credit card being required for sign up. Once you log in, go to My Account section and make sure that you see three green tick marks. If your IP shows not active, simply click on Update IP button. And that's it, it should work now. Though do remember, most devices on your network will not use the new DNS settings unless you restart the device. A good way to check if it's working or not is by accessing the content that usually is unavailable, like geo-restricted content. If it loads, then it's obviously working. Well, that's all for now. In the next video, we'll show you how to set up open firmware like Tomato and OpenWRT, so keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. I'm Vamdrina Smart Genius Proxy, and thanks for watching.